SMT Nation, we back. We are going to be testing the iPhone 14 Pro Max, brand new iPhone from Apple. And I just got the phone and I want to do some testing on the Wi-Fi. Uh, we just did the video on the capacity test just to see, you know, close to the router, ideal conditions. If there was much of a throughput difference between the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone 13 Pro Max to see if there maybe is a reason to upgrade your phone, even if you've got a relatively new phone, the 13 Pro, right? That's a year old and get this brand new phone because of Wi-Fi. Uh, in my opinion, it's a hard sell. <laughs> Looking at the capacity difference, there really wasn't much. All right, so let's see if range might be a factor. All right, getting things started first with the 14 Pro Max. Downlink at 307, uplink at 105, 15 ping, no jitter. That's a pretty solid connection. And to kind of compare it to the iPhone 13 Pro, one year fast forward, we got this new device. Let's go ahead and make that comparison and see if there's any difference. Okay, so they're both on the same connection, SMT HQ S. All right, so it's a tri-band router that we're using from ASUS. It's the, uh, it's the ROG edition. I don't know if you guys remember the review and the unboxing that I did for it. It's been an awesome router. Very capacitive, lots of features, very reliable. It never goes down. Updates comes in. It's it's great. It's been awesome. Uh, so really, you know, we're not testing the range of the router so much. I've got it right where I want it and where I need it to work. Uh, but here, comparing the iPhone 13 Pro, 231 down, 107 up, 15 or 16 ping. I'm not really sure there. I can't tell. It a little blurry. One millisecond on the jitter. Okay, so there is a slight difference in the downlink throughput. Not huge, but it is tangible, right? There is a, a, a measure of difference. You would have to kind of look at this like maybe we need some more testing. So that, that's why I wanted to get another test to see if maybe it was just a one-off. So I went ahead, ran another test, and it was mostly the same. It was a little bit better the second time around. All right, so we got 254 on the downlink. We got 107 on the uplink, so pretty similar, a little faster. All the other numbers pretty much the same. All right, now, remember, we're trying to evaluate, do you want to upgrade from your iPhone 13 generation to the iPhone 14 generation because of improved Wi-Fi radios or because the Wi-Fi is better? So we really couldn't draw a conclusion that the 14 was better than the 13 when it came to downlink or throughput you know, capacity or uplink. So now we're trying to see the range here to see if it's any different, if it performs better. But in terms of like signal quality, it doesn't really seem like it's all that much better. It is a little bit better. You can see that the downlink speeds are generally higher on the 14 Pro Max, but it wouldn't be the reason to go out and spend a thousand dollars or more to get like the newest, latest and greatest because of Wi-Fi. It really actually, in my opinion, is a hard sell to want to upgrade your iPhone just because of Wi-Fi. Of course, if you have like a much older iPhone, maybe the iPhone 12 is a little different. I don't have my 12 anymore. I've kind of moved on from mine for a while now. Uh, I sold my 12 Pro recently. Maybe you have an iPhone 11 or something. See, when, you, when you're talking about like two and three years difference, the upgrades are much more noticeable, right? The upgrade between two or three years of Wi-Fi advancements is going to be noticeable, but the upgrade from like year to year might not be. Unless this thing had like Wi-Fi 6E, we might be having a conversation, but it doesn't. Okay, so what do you guys think of the testing? What do you think about the notable difference there? Is it worth it to upgrade because of Wi-Fi? What do you think? Comment down below. You are the voice of the people. The SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Uh, go ahead and like and share this video. Subscribe for more and turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links are in the description for all things going on with the community, my Twitter, my Patreon, my Gmail address for business inquiries, and of course, the join button gets you member access for all the extra things we're doing with the community. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.